All right, welcome to the Football Weekly Podcast with me, Membro. Last week, we went over the divisional round playoffs. This week, we move on to the championship round. The Bengals, Chiefs, 49ers, and Eagles all were the ones to just survive. And now we move on to the final two for the final week of the NFL. All right, first up, the NFC Championship. Now, this one's going to be kind of hard to talk about because, personally, I am a 49ers fan. But first off, just congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. They've had a great season. Jalen Hurts has had like an MVP type season. Overall, they've really built a great team around their star quarterback, you know, especially adding free agent wide receiver A.J. Brown to help take, um, you know, not all the attention will be on uh, Devontae Smith. Also, the running game has been fantastic for the Philadelphia Eagles. In the NFC Championship game, all four touchdowns were rushing touchdowns. This Eagles team looks even better than the one that won the Super Bowl a few years ago. As for the Niners, it's a very disappointing end to the season. Brock Purdy went down in the first quarter. Josh Johnson, the backup quarterback, is in. Brock Purdy was warming up, Greg, and then it looks like he's saying here that he can't he can't throw. He can't do it. They had to lean on their fourth string quarterback, Jalen Johnson, veteran backup that had not played anything very important, especially not a conference championship game. And even Christian McCaffrey was out there throwing passes for San Francisco. The injury to Brock Purdy was really unfortunate because it felt like the Niners had something special going. They had a 10 game win streak heading into the game with the Eagles. All right, going to the other game, the Bengals and the Chiefs met again in the AFC Championship. Joe Burrow has owned the Chiefs up until this point. Some people were starting to call Arrowhead Burrowhead. Well, that officially ended as the Chiefs defense was able to contain Joe Burrow and the Bengals' explosive offense. Defensive lineman for the Bengals, Joseph Asai, gave up a very costly penalty at the end of the game, and I felt really bad for him, and teammate Pratt didn't make things any better. Okay, so basically a video released where Pratt was was yelling down on Joseph Asai for uh, actually touching Patrick Mahomes when he was going out of bounds. It was just not good to see you know, one of the leaders just honing down on a guy that was already very upset. He was basically just crying on the sideline after the game. And, you know, he was very emotional and upset. As for the Chiefs, they go back to the Super Bowl for the third time in four years. Safe to say that they were ecstatic. Oh, it's Mahomes house. We showed this place. That's Arrowhead. It's not Burrowhead out here. Next week, we look to the big game. I'll break down the Super Bowl, have a little preview there between the Chiefs and the Eagles. All right, that's going to be it. Peace.